I'm not going to do the same thing twice. Oh my gosh. Intro. How you guys doing? Gunman69 here. If you like the channel, you like what you see, but you want to support Gunman69, as you can see, 50% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Come on, guys. If you're watching the videos, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> How you guys doing? Gunman69 is here, and Meteor's details have been released just a few hours ago here on the Facebook, the official Facebook page for Rush Real, guys. In today's video, we're going to go over everything that's coming out, because I think now we know, I think we know everything now. Um, all the four units, the boss, the emotes. I think that's all that you, maybe friends we might get. Who knows, but we're going to see. Um, that's interesting. Guys, <clears throat> let's talk about Meteor right now real quick. Let's talk about Meteor right now real quick. Okay, unique ability. <clears throat> Summons a Meteorite when merging that, um, that destroys all enemies in a large area and deals percentage damage to bosses and percentage bonus in base on merge rank. So it's the, the, the explosion or whatever is stronger, obviously based on his tier. He's legendary. Don't know any more stats. Um, I don't, I think he is in random dice. I think he's in random dice. And if that's the case, hmm, I think he's in random dice. I'm actually positive he's a random dice. But that's the final card to come out. That's going to be coming out. His name is Meteor. It's legendary. We're going to hope we can get it day one. What, what's the next? What's the next? The emotes. Okay, look at that. So we saw the emotes uh, yesterday. I think in yesterday's video, we took a peek at it. As you can see there, we got, look at the beauty there. We got the Green Goblin, which is one of the, which is pop, backed by popular demand. Man, out of all of the monsters, they chose him. We got Plague, and then we got some cool little emotes there. 24 there, so you got your battle deck personalization. So it looks like we're getting maybe a, even a UI change as well. <clears throat> um, there we got... Corsair, which is Landmine Dice. Okay, Corsair leaves. He's going to be leaving explosive bombs on the field, and each merge, there's a chance for you to get a special Corsair, which will leave red bombs. I don't know if it's going to be red bombs like in Random Dice, but yeah. Uh, pretty sick. Going to be also a legendary there. Um, the damage is 450 base damage, bro. So that's going to be crazy. I don't know if they're going to bring that over uh, from Random Dice to over here. Big bombs are 450 base damage. Then we got Executioner. Uh, now we're getting to the not too great ones. Guys, don't worry. I got an amazing gameplay for you guys. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> unique ability. Finish off monsters with health below a certain level. Um, its effectiveness in boss battles is reduced by half. I don't know why they do half, but that's okay. Epic card. Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> guys, we will literally see. We will literally see. And then we got the puppeteer in action. I just want to brush over these. as Not too quick because the juicy needed potatoes is the brand new deck. The brand new deck is going to be number one when these balance changes come out. Um, so as you can see, the arrows, it's pointing. It's also downgrading. See, like, it's downgrading stuff. Look at that. His zone is finished. We can't even defeat ours with these boards. What you guys can't see at the bottom there is where it's the levels. Even the levels are also going down. And then we got the portal mage, which is going to be... I kind of went backwards here. I should have started at Portal Mage and then went up. But Portal Mage, epic. Um, he has a chance to teleport enemies. He hits the back to the beginning of the map. This is teleport dice from random dice, front line and center. But is it playable? Who knows? I tried to random dice, but random dice is just a different game. The mechanics are different. The meta is different, so it's just hard to judge how these cards are going to work playing in random dice meta and knowing what the um, Rush Royale meta is. But that is going to be all the changes, guys. We're excited to see, and there's Puppeteer right there. <clears throat> crazy, crazy. He has two unique abilities, guys. So that's all the changes, and then this was like the first leak of letting us know what we're getting. Guys, we can't wait. We cannot wait. It's exciting times over here to be a Rush player. I can't even lie to you, bro. I can't lie. It's like, it's just amazing. Okay, let's go over to Rush, and then let's talk about what we need to be talking about. The meat and potatoes of this video. Ready for me to say that we need to get to the meat and potatoes of the video. Let's go. It's over in Rush Royale now. What are we talking about? What do we want to talk about? We want to talk about the new 
deck that's going to be taking over the game, guys. I don't have the main card that's going to change the game, bro, for us, which is going to be Knight's Statue. Over the random dice, you have the Solar Lunar deck, which is basically because you're a Knight Statue running the entire instant scene, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen over here. Let's talk about the buffs now. The main buff that we want to be looking at is the critical damage chance, which is going from 1 to 5. Come on, man. 1 to 5. Attack speed is also getting increased. Um, the opponent activation speed is getting increased. Everything is getting buffed, guys. And his 1 to 5 crit chance is going to change the game for Rush Route players. I promise you this. Shaman is permanently dethroned after this, guys. I promise you. I promise you. We're going to take out Grindstone. We're going to put in Night Statue. You're going to play Harley. You're going to take out... <clears throat> you're going to take out... Um, no, you're going to keep Harley, my bad. So you're going to take out Grindstone, you're going to put in Statue. You're going to keep Harley. You're going to take out Dread, put in... No, you can actually you can keep Dread. Dread's a sick card. And you can run Dread and then run Boris. Guys, I promise you that is going to be the best deck in the entire game. I promise you this. Promise you this. Well, guys, that's everything that's coming season four. And obviously, the season's going to reset in nine days, guys. And we're going to jump the entire Brawl Pass because we got to get those legendaries. We're going to buy, we're definitely going to probably get this deal to give us the 1500 diamond. <clears throat> I mean, 1500 crystals and the three legendaries, the two epics, the 42 epics. So hopefully, we can grab those epics out of that real quick. So, definitely, this is what we're going to be getting. <clears throat> hopefully, it's out on the day of. Guys, that's it for. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing, nothing. That's it for Gunman69. I will see you guys tomorrow.